Software engineering can be complex. Learning about it can even be more daunting. But there's a concept known as first principles thinking that I think will help you through it all, especially in those times where you're feeling overwhelmed or even confused. Now let's think about humans really quick. Humans are really quite lazy. We tend to take the path of least resistance. Like here's an example. If you're not sure of how to approach a problem, what's the first thing that you do today? Well, you might Google it, or you might go on YouTube, or go on GitHub and find some code. And although these are great and natural things to be doing, they're not always the most effective way to really build on top of what we know. In other words, we're not really doing much thinking. We're just being told what to do. We're really letting the other people who have solved these problems think for us and therefore kind of inform of what we should be doing. But here's another thought. What if we actually did the thinking for ourselves? For example, imagine you're trying to sort something like a list. Well, what are the basic things that you know about that list? Well, you know that the list has items in it. You know that there's standard libraries that have sort and filter type functions. And you're really just trying to figure out which combination will get you the result that you want. In other words, you're really building on top of the knowledge that you already had. You just didn't know it. And getting into this habit of kind of building your own solution really helps inform when you do find those solutions. This is just your natural guide of really your understanding of the world. And this really challenges your current understanding and helps you make those leaps to the things that you don't really know or the unknowns. And in my opinion, this is probably the most beneficial thing to be doing, especially when you're first starting out. So here's the thing. Start from the first basic truth that you know. The way that you get to the first basic truth is you continually ask yourself the question, why? This is kind of like a toddler or a kid who just continues to ask the why question until they get the answer that they finally want. And of course, this can go down the rabbit hole, but you know, we're really trying to get to that first understanding of what we know. This gives us that solid foundation that we can build on top of. And of course, this is the foundation that is going to be largely undisputed by other people. So continue to ask yourself the question why. Break the unknowns or the complexity down into fundamental truths as much as you can. And then once you have those fundamental truths, you need to ask yourself one more question. If this is true, then what else is true? The cool part about this question is that it's used in a lot of other places. One example is that if you've ever seen a comedy improv show or really any comedy sketch type show, they always build based off of the first understanding. This is a concept known as yes and. And that loosely translates to the idea of accepting the reality present to us and building upon it. But with engineering, we tend to think about logical truths. So we start with our first basic truth and we build on top to our second basic truth. And we continue to do that until we get an answer that we're satisfied with. And as we build that understanding to what we're really satisfied with, we're really learning a lot in the process. We're gonna be able to make those connections that we previously didn't or the patterns that we're starting to recognize from just going through the process. So rather than cutting to the chase of just finding an answer to a question that you have, really think it through. Taking your time to do so is really going to help you establish those connections and patterns in the long run. 